You probably remember we first told you about the Delmarva Animal Rescue Halo's Haven back in January of 2012. It's a nonprofit equine rescue helping to save horses that have been neglected or put up for slaughter. Now, just last month on Valentine's Day, the folks at the rescue were at it again, this time saving two horses out of New Jersey. Delmarva Life, Sean Stryker joins us now from St. Michael. So, Sean, uh, how are the two horses? Well, Jimmy and Lisa, we just found out last week that unfortunately one of those horses had to be put down. She was in extreme pain and the vet decided that was best for her. But the other horse is doing really well and that's all because of Michelle Lewis. Michelle, thanks for joining me. Now you founded uh, Halo's Haven Rescue um, a few years back and these horses, you, you go out there and you find them. How do you do that? How do you find them? Uh, there's a couple different ways. Uh, we found Hart and Valentine from uh, the internet. They have, the auctions have rescue groups that actually post uh, the horses that are left that uh, people didn't purchase. Now, these are horses that are left uh, into what is called a kill pen. A kill pen is really the, the meat buyers purchase these horses for their size. And they would, be, they would have been exported to Canada or Mexico, and that would be for human consumption. So you went and you saved them, you brought them back here. Uh, what goes into rescuing a horse and saving them? A lot of time, uh, a lot of money, a lot of expertise. Uh, mostly it's, it's passion and what you believe is right or wrong. And, it, and here at Halo's Haven and a lot of other people, 80% of Americans believe that our horses should not be exported for slaughter. Mm -hmm. uh, so Hart was put down unfortunately, but Valentine over here, she's doing great, uh, but she still has a road, uh, a pretty long road ahead of her. Tell us about Valentine. Well, Valentine arrived the same time that Hart had arrived. They had arrived with strangles, which is an upper respiratory infection. Fortunately, with um, a lot of intensive care, I'd say a month's worth, she has pulled out of her upper respiratory infection. The dentist has come and had her teeth done. She had horrible teeth and she was starved. I mean, she had put on probably about close to 150 pounds since she's been here. Wow, that's really yes. impressive. So how can other people help? How can they get involved and help you out? Well, anyone that has any horse knowledge, uh, we're always looking for good help. Um, and obviously the, the volunteers that I have here are, have been very extremely helpful. And in donations, it, it's extremely costly. Uh, the, the horses have, when they arrive that sick and in, in need of veterinarian care and farrier care and excess um, supp supplements for their starvation needs, they can range up to five to seven thousand, up wow. to ten thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, so quite they, costly. Oh, it's very expensive. Uh -huh. Well, Michelle, that's great. Uh, you know, if you want to hear that again and how you can help and, you know, follow Valentine's story, all you need to do is visit our website, WBOC.com, and click on our picture at the top of the page. Jimmy and Lisa, back to you guys. That is one incredible thing that it they is. do. It is. Absolutely magnificent. Well, he is one of the most accomplished American writers with works like Mystic River, Shutter Island, and Gone Baby Gone. Up next, we talk with author Dennis Lehane about his books, what he thinks about his works being turned into Hollywood blockbusters, and learn the details behind his latest literary masterpiece. And this guy is no stranger to masterpieces. Still ahead, actor James Corden takes us on his latest stage and shows us how he'll be different than anyone who's hosted it before. Delmarva Life will be back in minutes.